Hello Aries, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is for mid-September through mid-October 2022 or the next 30 days. This is a timeless reading, so it's intended for whenever you're watching. We're jumping right in with the Wisdom of Tao, then we'll go into some tarot and more oracle and we'll end with angel answers. Oh, you got justice. Nice. The universe executes a precise order of justice. Karmic debt is being reconciled at this moment. The matter is no longer in your hands. Take a deep breath and go through it. Awesome. The matter is no longer in your hands. It's in someone else's hands. It's in God's hands. Take a deep breath and just live your life. Do what you want to do. Be happy. <laughs> Love it. All right. Let's go over to the Halloween tarot. Let me just show you the top of this deck fun Halloween cards. All right. What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your other signs, Aries. There could be additional messages there for you. All right, Aries. Got a pop out here. Page of Swords. Very interesting. So someone is looking at you. Someone is like, oh, who's this Aries? <laughs> See the woman? The woman here and the man in the background there. So she's like daydreaming about him and he's watching her. So I feel like for some of you, this could have to do with romance. For others of you, um, someone is checking you out for a job, okay? So be careful of your social media presence, okay? If you're applying for a job, make sure anything you have on social media you wouldn't mind an employer seeing and that it wouldn't be anything that could be of detriment to you okay um it, anything could really um be a turn off to an employer so just be careful it's nothing too personal okay maybe um fix your settings on your social media before you start putting out job applications just be wise that's all Okay, so let's go further here for Aries. Okay. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful imagery here. So you have many choices. You might not be sure, you know, what you wish to choose, okay? Just know that all of these things aren't going to be there forever, okay? Like if you're applying for jobs, you can't wait forever. You know what I mean? You can't just, well, you could, but like if you keep applying for jobs, applying for jobs, waiting for the best thing to come your way, you're going to lose some of those opportunities, right? So it's important to pay attention to not letting any good opportunities slip away. I feel like there's a lot of options um, coming up for you when it comes to jobs, if you're house hunting, believe it or not, I feel like you're going to have a few options. We have the Six of Pentacles. It says, my Halloween greetings to thee. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Very nice. So this is about um, receiving. It's about giving and receiving. Reciprocity, equal give and take. This could be about um, getting a raise, um, being recognized for all of your hard work. This could be... Um, starting a new job um, at a higher pay scale than you're used to and we have the three of swords so if you've been through something recently that's been painful um, this is going to be short-lived it's not going to go on for very long maybe over the next three weeks um, things are going to um, the dust is going to settle things are going to smooth over believe it or not um, for someone listening I feel like there was a job you really really wanted badly and you're like near devastated that it didn't work out for you but know that that's because something better is coming your way the thing that's meant for you is coming your way okay let's go further here with the gilded tarot royale got some clarifiers for you gemini i said gemini i'm sorry i meant to say aries <laughs> sorry aries i knew that wasn't right all right aries that was a fumble sorry all right, Aries, Aries, what else for Aries? We're clarifying the Page of Swords, Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and Three of Swords. Okay. All 
Alrighty, clarifying the page of swords. We have the queen of swords. Okay, here's the truth. Okay, um, you're going to find out who's been admiring you from afar, or they're going to find out that you've been admiring them from afar. The truth is going to be out there. Okay, um, in work, in work, um, you're going to be getting the details about a job position. Um, someone is reaching out to you saying, okay, this is what this job pays. I need someone from this time to this time, five days a week. Um, I need you to have experience in such and such. And if there's one thing, like say you have experience in everything that it says um, on this job, except for like one thing, still apply for the job if you want it. And then on the interview or um, on the application, you can say you are willing to be trained in that one thing that you don't currently do. Don't be like, oh darn, that would have been the perfect job, but I'm not qualified in such and such, so I'm not even going to apply. No, 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 no. Apply anyway, and then add in there somewhere, you know, this is the only thing I'm not qualified in or I'm not trained in, but I am willing to be trained. Looking forward to it, that type of thing. Seven of Cups is being clarified by the High Priestess. So, um, this has to do with going with your intuition on something. So what feels right? When it comes to all these choices before you, what really feels right? Go with your intuition. Learn how to differentiate between your intuition and your ego, okay? Your intuition is going to guide the way here. The Six of Pentacles is being clarified by justice. Look, you've got justice twice. Karmic justice, there could be a Libra in your life or strong Libra in your chart. This is things balancing out, the scales balancing, and look, with the Six of Pentacles. In the traditional tarot, um, someone is actually holding scales. Okay, so this is validating this message of equality, justice, balance. If anyone has harmed you or done you wrong, let God take care of them, okay? Karma will take care of them. Just step aside, step away, get on with your life. There's better things for you. If you're in the middle of litigation, um, I feel like because these cards are coming out, um, things will fall in your favor. The Three of Swords is oh God, judgment too. The Three of Swords has been clarified by judgment. So for those of you who have been through a recent breakup, um, there could be someone else coming your way. Um, if this person reminds you of the past person, um, heed that as a warning because you're going to have similar experiences with that person, okay? The judgment card, what's good about it is that there's a higher calling for you. There's a better connection with someone. This has to do with work. If you left work, um, if you were let go unjustly or something like that and another job comes along and it's awfully familiar and it kind of seems like the last one, know that that's likely what it will be. So stay open to something better. There's a higher calling for you. There's something much, much better for you. And that thing that's much better is new and fresh, okay? It's not like a different person but same situation or um, something like that. This is something that's different, fresh, it feels better, and you just really feel like this is right. Okay, so let's go over to the Angel Wisdom Tarot. I feel like this Justice card also has to do with money. Um, I feel like somebody listening, you're getting the promotion that you deserve. Someone else may have tried to push you aside by bad-mouthing you or something like that, and they're not going to get away with it. Justice will prevail there. Um, for those of you going to court or dealing with a legal matter, um, I feel like you're going to get what's owed to you. All right, so let's clarify with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. All decks are listed below, Gemini, if you're interested. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm putting up a few end cards. Two of them are readings on spirit messages from pets on the other side, and the other one will be my recent Mercury retrograde reading. Okay, the Page of Swords, Queen of Swords is being clarified by the King of Swords. Strong air energy here. Wow. Okay, intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic. So this could be a lawyer or just the law, however the law is working here, um, a lawyer or a judge. Um, 
helping you out, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded, public speaking, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships, or being emotionally unavailable, okay? So in a case like this, it's good to have um, someone who is unemotional because um, they're the ones that can go in and represent you. So like a lawyer would be un hopefully unemotional, right? Um, you're going to you might might feel emotional about something that you might need to go to court for, something legal that you're dealing with, but a lawyer, they're not emotionally connected to it the way you are. So they can speak for you, they can stand for you, stand in for you. And look, we have the Queen and King of Swords. So I feel like you have a strong team, Aries, um, backing you. This could also be a strong spiritual team, so don't forget to call on your guides and angels. The Seven of Cups and the High Priestess is being clarified by Justice again. Justice twice here. Raguel, Archangel Raguel is the angel on this card. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. Remember, I was talking about a lawyer or a judge. Okay, someone's going to stand for you. Okay, they're going to stand in for you. And spirit has your back too. Six of Pentacles and Justice. Wow. It's being clarified by the Emperor, Archangel Michael. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role. Structure and discipline. And this is you, Aries. This is you. The Emperor represents Aries in the Tarot and the Major Arcana. Really amazing energies here. We've got Justice twice. We have the King of Swords, the Emperor. So this is really, um, I just feel like, hang on a minute. We have Justice three times. Look, one, two, three. Justice three times. So there's a lot of power here. Um, you have the strength. Justice will prevail. Justice is on your side. Um let me just go deeper here with the emperor. Uh, logic and organization will increase your success. So it's time to uh, make a plan. I get that with the king of swords as well. You might be working with someone else making a plan. We have justice right in the middle here. Okay. Um, standing up for yourself on what you believe. Okay. If you have integrity, you're going to win. If the other person does not have integrity, they're not going to win. And I feel like the other person is going to make a fool of themselves, okay? So that's for someone, not everyone, of course. The Three of Swords and Judgment is being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Very nice. Some earth energy here. Grounding, balance, slow and steady success, slow and steady progress, slow and steady money growth, which is good because that means it's lasting, Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Beautiful. And I feel like there's someone on the other side watching over you and blessing you. Maybe someone recently passed that you are close with, and they are also watching over you. My grandfather passed away a long time ago, but I feel like he's a guardian angel to me and my daughter. So it might be a similar situation like that where you have someone who is kind of like a guardian angel to you <coughs> when they were here on this earth is still like that on the other side. Sorry, I just needed some water. Okay, so let's go over to the Kipper deck and see what else we have for you, Aries. And Aries, I have no idea how many times I called you Gemini, so please forgive me. <laughs> All right, Aries. What else for Aries? One more shuffle. Oh, a couple pop, pop belts here. Okay, we have pathway and 35. That breaks down to eight if you like numerology, 35 and eight. Look at the beautiful picture this beautiful pathway there are butterflies saying come this way come this way this pathway is lit light at the end of the tunnel Aries yes and we have thoughts and number 16 
This is a very exciting creative card. Look at the paint brushes, the paint palette. He's thinking about what he wants to do next, painting this portrait. This has to do with that planning I was talking about with the Emperor and the King of Swords. So this could have to do with like a legal situation, but could, it could also have to do with your next steps in life and something exciting that you want to do with your life, with employment or business. Um, you know, you could be... Um, making blueprints for a house or something like that. I'm actually picturing blueprints for a large like corporate building or corporate complex. You might be involved in something like that. Wow. All right, let's get one more from here. Okay, and we have occupation. Okay, so for some of you, um, this has to do with your occupation. That's 34, that breaks down to seven. Um, doing what you enjoy, you could do something creative, like architecture is very creative. You're using your intellectual mind too. It could have something to do with that. Um, this legal thing could have to do with your work. Maybe you are a lawyer. Um, and, and maybe like on the side, you're an artist too. And that's something many people wouldn't expect from you. And I feel like um, for someone listening, like you have a friend that didn't know that about you. I had that experience once, like um, a friend that didn't know that I could paint. And um, she came over for the first, when she came over for the first time, she saw my paintings on the walls and she was like, whoa, like I didn't, I didn't think you could do that. You know, she was just like seeing another side of me. She was surprised to see, cause I never talked about it. So I feel like for someone listening, it's something like that. Like somebody is seeing this creative side of you that they've never seen before. All right, Aries, this is the Angel Answers Oracle deck. If you have a question, you can reflect on it now, but you don't have to. What else for Aries? Okay, ask your angels. Yes, make sure you call on your guides and angels and they are going to help you see this light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to be excited, happy, and relieved. And in the near future, you're going to have some great re relief in the very near future. All right, Aries, beautiful messages. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again soon.